All right, gonna start off today's episode with 65 attack. Been chilling here at Rock Crabs or Sand Crabs for quite a while. 78 combat, 65 attack. Just need to get strength up. Oh wait, no, but 65. I thought I had 64 strength for some reason. There we go. We can now enter the Warriors Guild to get ourselves a young Dragon Defender. Quickly before I head to the Warriors Guild, I got all of these caskets from the Sand Crabs. I'm gonna open. Don't really think you get anything special, but the gems might. Oh, Cosmic Talisman, nice. Uh, and we got an easy clue. I even wow. Okay, well, some gems, an easy clue, and a cosmic talisman. 16k in the bank. Not bad. Free caskets equals free GP. After what seems like a year, we have finally managed to get our rune defender. Ugh, about time. We still need the dragon one though, and the dragon one is the one I really want to get because the cyclops ones downstairs, the higher level ones, drop the adamant square shield and all those better armors and stuff that I can sell. And increase my cash stack even more since I've been selling our, all the like swords and stuff I get here. So the stats we got off this were actually we hit 80 combat, which is awesome. We're in the 80s already after like five days of being in the 70s, right up to the 80s, 65 attack, 68 strength, and 62 defense. Need three more defense levels to do King's Ransom. And uh, yeah, I've been grinding it out really hard. Pretty proud of this account right now. Let's go get the Dragon Defender. Well, guys, that did not take long at all. Maybe five minutes down here. We got ourselves a Dragon Defender and... A Runei Bar, check that out. I think that's where I dropped it, though. But the first ever Dragon Defender on this account has now been picked up with mighty lag on this world. I'm definitely going to have to hop. Don't like this at all. But uh, we got it thanks to some good luck from my girl Pam from the office. My good luck charm. It's like seventh run through. Always works out for me. And a lobster. Thank you so much. Now we, just need, we need to get this Adam and Square Show like I've been saying. And then we can finish our time here at the Warriors Guild. Okay, another historic moment on this Hardcore Iron Man. I am now officially buying Mystic for the first time. Because I can... Holy Jesus. I thought it was like 60k. Okay, I thought I'd have a bit more cash. Well, uh, it's worth it. I need the Mystic. It's going to be great to kill stuff with. Wow, that just depleted my stack right there. Um, it's worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> We're going to keep going. And we got missed it. All right, guys. We finished King's Ransom. Actually, a very easy quest to get down. Oh, my goodness. Look at that defense XP. That is nuts. Well, does it get me a level? It doesn't. But it gets me 13k away from another level. Uh, one quest point, 5,000 magic XP, the Night Waves training ground, which unlocks, I think, chivalry or piety, one of both maybe, I don't remember. 5k, I already said that, 5k XP reward lamp. Nice. No levels, but we get this XP, rub antique lamp. What do we, can we use it on anything? Need 50, oh, need 50. Hmm. All right, we use it on smithing, we're going to get one level off that, 54, which means we can now make mithril short swords. Amazing. All right. Nice. Quest complete. This is an awful collection of tiers, but it may get us to 30 runecrafting. Please. 31. That's why Tears of Guthix is amazing. 1320 total. Tier. I know, it's the worst. But we can now do Slug Menace. We are now 30 plus all stats as well. What can I say? Get a little clap in the chat. If you did just clap, leave it in the comments below so I can give you a thumbs up because that deserves it. Anyways, 31 recrafting and we can now do Slug Menace. Don't know what it gets us, like Prosy or something, but that's worth it. And now we have finished Wanted. Still only one quest point. For how long this quest took and how annoying it was, I deserve more than one. 5,000 Slayer XP and access to the White Knight Armory, which I think it means we can buy Prosy, which might be useful for some things. I don't really know. But uh, thank you, Ceramic Vaz. Appreciate that, man. Really nice of you. Hurry up. Please, 50 Slayer. Oh, no. Okay, we didn't even get 49 Slayer. I thought we were close to 50. But there we go. Quest complete. I really thought I had this quest done, but I did not, apparently. A Soul's Bane. Pretty easy quest to get done. Just a little bit annoying. Uh, and he's going to give us nothing. Well, a little bit, but 500 GP um, and 500 HP, HP defense in one quest point. And no levels off that. But another quest complete. 214 quest points. We could actually go for a master clue right now. Elite, medium, hard, easy. But uh, we're going to try to do the hard for now, which I doubt we can do. The first step is a uh, fairy ring step, though, which we can do. So let's try that out. Yo, we did it. We actually got the hard clue scroll casket. Only four steps. I could do every single one. Last one was a puzzle box. Previous three were two fairy rings and like an anagram clue or whatever they're called. So we're going to open this first ever hard clue casket. Third age incoming, imagine. Bro. 
No way, dude. I have gotten so many god dehyde boots from hard clues. And black dehyde. Wow, and a rune axe. And this is an incredible clue. I always forget how exciting this stuff is on Iron Man because I never had one before. But this is an amazing clue. Dehyde boots is going to be amazing for whenever I go for a jad. I need to get my range. I don't even think I can wear them. What do I need for this? Range level of 70. And this is also a 70. So when I hit 70 range, this is going to be a, a pop in account. All right. And another boss fight totally overestimated. Wasn't that hard of a boss. Just a little bit annoying. But this should finish the quest. Thank you. There we go. Two quest points complete. 22,000 strength XP access to Tarn's Lair. Pretty nice. Thank you to Slayer Music for the quest guide. But uh, yeah, another quest done. Puts us at 200 and... Where are we? 16 quest points. No levels though. Close to 69 strength though. Kappa. But yeah, nice quest to get done. Finally out of the way. And uh, yeah, let's keep going. Alright guys, so I'm going to end today's episode there with 216 quest points. 13 and 21 total. So actually, I was looking at the quest that I have left to do. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 quests left until Quest Cape. Some many quests as well, but 19 left. That's really not that many. I can't believe it. A bunch of these I can... Actually, not a bunch. I can actually do Legends Quest right now, which I may knock out. I can finish off RFD as well. I just have to get those Grigories, which I really don't want to get. But uh, yeah, I'll have to do it at some point. But uh, 19 left, I think... It's probably like five or six more where I need to grind up my stats in specific Monkey of Madness 2. I need like 70 crafting for that. I don't even know I'm going to get that on a hardcore. But uh, yeah, guys, anyways, knocking out a bunch more quests. We're getting really close to the quest cave. Really exciting stuff. Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to drop a like and a comment if you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the next video, hopefully, if you're there. Thanks for watching, and peace. Wow.